Tonight, the Kiambu County government is charting an unprecedented leadership stalemate. After the High Court Judge John Oniego declined to swear in James Nyoro, citing failure to comply with provisions of the Assumption of Office of Governor Act 2019. And even that was to kick off at 8 a.m., according to an advisory from Chief Justice David Maraga, did not take place, sparking anger from the pro Nyoro County Assembly members and part parliamentarians. But as Francis Gashuri reports, County Secretary Dr. Martin Jogu Mbogwa has gazetted tomorrow as Nyoro's swearing-in date, even as the embattled Governor Ferdinand Waititu moved to court, contesting his ouster. The arrival of Solicitor General Ken Ogeto's motorcade at Kiambu County headquarters sparked jubilation from County Assembly members and their supporters who passed a motion in December last year to impeach Governor Ferdinand Waitito over allegations of corruption, abuse of office and gross misconduct. But that excitement eventually faded away and turned into street protests. When it became apparent that Dr. James Nyoro would not be sworn in by High Court Judge John Oniego, as earlier instructed by Chief Justice David Maraga. The MCAs and a group of parliamentarians staging protests outside Kiambu law courts, demanding a high court judge to swear in Nyoro as the clock quickly ticked to 2 p.m., the deadline for such an event as provided for in the Assumption of Office of Governor Act of 2019, passed by the Senate. To say two wrongs does not make one right. Na kwa hivyo sisi ya tuwensi na sisi, kusema chetu jajiapisha siku ya leo, all along, Onyego was at the Kiambu High Court Judges Chambers and stood his ground that the planned swearing-in ceremony had not complied with the law, specifically citing Section 11 of the law that requires the County Committee on Assumption of Governor's Office to publicize and notify the public of the swearing-in event, stating the time, date, and venue of such an event. That because of the provisions of the law, we postpone this function from today to a day that we shall announce. Tomorrow! <laughs> and we want to follow every bit of the law so that we don't do anything in vain. Because there's no point of us doing something here and then we are taken to court and what we do is overturned by the court. But Attorney General Paul Kihara Karioki, in an advisory opinion to the county, saw no need of such a committee and held that such a framework only applied in a post-election transition from one governor to another and not a situation where a deputy governor is taking over from an impeached county boss, Karioki defending Nyoro's planned takeover, stating that the constitution did not anticipate a vacuum in the governor's office after the Senate confirmed Oitito's impeachment last night. There is a lacuna in the room, and that is why we would still go, go ahead, but we said no, we will not provide us to be the test case for that lacuna. Judge Onyego also cited provisions of Section 16 of the Act on the 10-day timeline before a governor-elect can assume office, that section providing for modification in the swearing-in of a deputy governor who is assuming the office of governor in line with Article 180 of the Constitution. However, the judge argued that the modification relates to shortening of the 10 days period. Legal arguments aside, the impatient MCAs and parliamentarians even urging Nyoro to be sworn in by a commission of oaths. So bear with us yes. that we don't do an illegality and don't do something unconstitutional yes. and then we look funny in the eyes of the law. Later this evening, County Secretary Martin Jogumbogwa gazetted tomorrow as the date of Nyoro's swearing-in at the county headquarters. At the High Court, Waitito contested his removal, claiming he was not accorded a fair hearing and his rights were violated by the County Assembly and the Senate. Judge James Macau certified his application urgent but declined to grant his wish to stop Nyoro's swearing-in pending the matter's hearing and determination. Parties in the case among them Waitito, Nyoro, the County Assembly and its Speaker, as well as Senate Speaker, ordered by the judge to appear before him on Monday for directions.
A litany of political intrigues and legal technicalities necessitated the postponement of Dr. James Nyoro's swearing-in as the third governor of the county government of Kiambu, even as Governor Ferdinand Waititu moved to court to quash the Senate decision to uphold his impeachment by the County Assembly of Kiambu last December. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV, at the Kiambu County Government Headquarters, Kiambu Town.